and welcome back to my channel. So today, I will be showing you how to use Teal as an eyeshadow. Because sometimes I think we are so afraid of stepping out of our comfort zones when it comes to looks. Sandali nga namang gabi ng neutral shades for every day. But today, I'll be showing you how to use a pop of color, which is Teal. So yung Teal sa mga favorite colors ko. Kasi it's so... Ang hindi siya common na ginagamit, especially for eyeshadow. Okay, so if you want to know how I did this look, then just keep on watching. So first, I'm taking my Color Pop Creme Gel Liner, the black one, and just tight lighting my eyes. By the way, I'm doing the eyes first para if ever may fall out, madali lang i-wipe. Nang makeup remover wipes. And please don't mind the little bumps there because I just had a facial the other night. So, medyo madami tayo ang pinrick. Kasi nga sabi ko madami akong bumps na kailangan na ng professional extraction. About the hour. Uh -huh. We're going to prime our eyelids using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Nook. Para lang mas ma-intensify yung colors. Tsaka, matriis mo kung saan nung ba gusto yung iyong heel eyeshadow. So, for me, I want it until the socket. So, yun yung pa-prime ko. So, di pa-prime ko naman lahat. Pero, for the most part, color ng skin shade and yung edges niya medyo lalagyan ko na niya ipapat down ko na para hindi na para mas madali iset iset mas madali i-blend later yung edges ng teal shade so while it's tacky i'm going to put on my lid color which is this teal one from Milani from the Bella Eyes collection so i'm just going to take a flat shader brush for this. So once that is on, you want to take a transition shade. I want to take this dark. Dark. This warm one from the chocolate bar palette. And then just blend, blend out the edges of that here. <music> to further blend it out, I'm going to take a more precise blending brush. Dip it into the teal. Para lang hindi mawala yung pagkatil niya. And then go over that part kung saan sila nag-meet ni Transition Shade. If you feel na may parts na patchy yung kulay, just go over it with your shade or brush. And what I like about Bella Eyes Eyeshadow by Milani, wala siyang masyadong fall out the see. So I'm taking a more precise fluffy shading brush and I go to this darker brown right here. And what you want to do is darken your outer corners. And just always go back to your fluffy brush to blend it out as you go. Para sa akin kasi, mas madali na i-blend out mo na siya agad as you go kaysa sa mas mahirapan ka mamaya kapag marami ka ng harsh lines na kailangan i-blend. Kasi baka yung maging muddy siya if you blend it all together. So what you want to do is just darken the outer edge of it. With the brown. And taking yung shade natin kanina with the teal. Just blend the teal with it. Mas gusto ko pang i-darken yung brown. So, I'm going to pack it on some more. 
Again, going back to the transition sheet. Blending it like so towards the inner part. Gusto ko yung medyo flat na fluffy brush kasi mas precise yung pagka-blend niya. And then going back to that fluffier brush with the teal shade. Again, going to the teal and blending it. So, ang technique lang naman sa ganitong mga colorful eyeshadow is yung blending. Actually, any eyeshadow for that matter is that you blend it properly together para seamless yung transition from one color to another. And then taking a flat shader brush, I'm just going to use the darkest brown, this one in the corner, then line my upper lash line with it very tightly. And then taking a soft pencil brush. We're just going to blend at that to our outer V. You know, although hindi masyado wearable, yung mga ganitong cleansing eyeshadows, I love vibrant colors like this. So, ito lang. Kung hindi lang socially unacceptable ang mag-smoke eyeshadow on daytime, you know, I will. You know I will, girl. You know I will. You know me. And then, basically, just go back to that medium brown shadow and blend up the edges of that. So that, again, seamless um, blending natin ng mga bagay. So once that is all blended out, I'm going to go back to that, that big vanilla one. And using my angled flat shader brush, this is my favorite for the highlighting the brow bone. I'm just going to clean up the edges and highlight underneath the brow bone. I'm just going to put on some mascara. And I'm just going to put on some more. So after I applied my half lashes for a cat eye effect, I put on this Shade right here on my inner corners. And now, before we finish off the eyes, we're just going to finish the rest of the face. So, I just primed my skin using the Hangover RX Primer by Too Faced because my skin is uber dry right now. So, now it's time for foundation. So, today, since we, so today, since medyo bold yung eye look natin, we're going for a full coverage foundation. And this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect to m one Foundation and Concealer. So with my quickie blending sponge, I'm just going to pump some into my hand. And then two pumps. And then we're just going to pump that into our face. And then we're going in with the Tarte Shade Tip Concealer because this is a full ass coverage concealer. And we need all the coverage that we can get since it's a bad foundation nga tayo. So now we're setting everywhere we put concealer with some RCMA No Color Powder. After that, we can now finish off with the eyes. I just wanted to use a green liner for today. This one is from Essence, by the way. Okay, so after that, we're going to take some of our teal color with the flat shader brush earlier. I'm just going to set that a little bit. After that, we're going to go back to this inner corner shade and just blend it in with the blue, green, blue, green. I'm not even sure anymore at this point. 
So after that, we are just going to take our flat shader brush and go with the darkest brown first. Go back to to the medium brown. I'm going to take a green brush for this one. Going back to our transition shade. I'm just taking this small piece brush. This one is from this one is from Elf. And just blend it all together. Blend it all around like so. Okay, so we're almost done with the eyes. All we need to do is just coat the bottom lashes with some mascara. So for this, we're going to take the Max Factor Master Glamour Extensions. I like this because for the lower lashes, I mean, because it has a very thin one. everything for the eyes and what we're going to do next is finish the face so to contour the face we're going to be using the hourglass bronzer so what I like about this bronzer is you have to build it up We're going to take the contour shade from the Kat Von D shade and light palette. So for blush today, we're going to be using the Girlactic Star Blush in the shade Milan. For the face, our glow today will be the Girlactic Face Veil in the shade C3. I want a really goddess look for today, but we are all only going to put it one selected here. Let's all take a moment of silence for this. For this. So that everything lasts the whole day and all the powders blend into the cream, kailangan natin iset with a setting spray and this is the Milani Make It. So while we're waiting for that to dry down further, we're going to put on our lip color and this is the Makeup Monsters Liquid Lipstick in the shade Vintage, you know, Makeup Monsters are my favorite. So that's it for this look guys. What do you guys think? Please let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos and follow me on my Instagram. Thanks and see you on my next one. Bye!